This is the introductory video to masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk GCSE Foundation exam papers from 2011. It introduces the DVDs that are in this DVD case along with the exam papers that go with it. So let's have a watch of the introduction. GCSE Foundation Mathematics Examination Paper from MathTutor.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk In this video I'm going to be working through this examination paper which is a foundation exam paper from 2011. Now this is not the actual exam paper from one of the exam boards because to do that would be to infringe copyright. So to make sure I haven't infringed copyright, I've rewritten all of the questions, changing dates or names or values in certain cases or shapes. But the overall result is a facsimile of the original paper with the same difficulty level of questions and, well, basically the same paper, but it doesn't infringe copyright. Not only does it not infringe copyright, it enables you to be able to work through the real exam paper and get even more practice. The paper is one and a half hours long. I recommend that you certainly work through the paper yourself before you watch these videos. Now not only will I give you the marks and how to do the questions, I'll also explain possibly different ways of doing the questions. I might make other points along the way which will help you with your examination. So I hope you'll learn not only the answers to the questions that you've worked through, but a lot more than that. I won't just work through the questions quickly to give you the answers, I should explain all of them fully. Some questions as I work through you might think, oh that's gone a bit slow, but my point is I'm trying to make sure that every viewer will understand how to do these questions. You can of course make the video go a bit faster, make my voice go a bit squeaker, squeaky, but it'll speed it up if that's what you need or what you want. You can even speed it up enough so you don't hear me at all, but still see what's going on. So you can vary it as you like. The other thing you can do, of course, if I do explain a question that you don't entirely understand, you can stop the DVD, spin it back, and listen to it again. That's the advantage of a DVD. Now, as I say, along the way, I'll be giving you the marks, so you can keep a record of your marks, add them up, and I'm sure you'll be interested to know what sort of grade your exam would be worth. So what I've got here is marks for different grades for different exams. There's actually three different exams here and they come from two different exam boards. Now the first thing to appreciate is that a different mark is required different years on different exams to get a grade C or any grade come to that. Now the reason for this is even though the examiners attempt to make the questions just as hard, or in some cases just as easy, it's very difficult to do that. So what happens is the examiners set the exam, you sit it, the markers mark all of the exams, and then they get together to discuss the paper. Did it turn out to be quite a demanding exam? Difficult in places? And if that's the case, then they'll lower the grade boundaries as they're called. So this particular paper required 68 marks, 68%, 68 out of 100 to get a grade C. Whereas this paper needed 81 marks, it needed more. So I suspect this exam was found to be harder. So I can't say exactly what your mark will be worth as a grade, but I, what I've done is I've averaged these. I found the mean of each of these sets of marks so if you say to yourself, I'll target trying to get five marks more than each of these, you can then say if you did get 80 marks, or 80%, then you're certainly targeting a grade C. 66 marks, you're targeting a grade D. And 52 marks, you're targeting a grade E. In other words, this set up here are a pretty good set to aim for as target marks for the grades that you would like to be able to get. 
Well, let's make a start on this paper.